All right, everybody, this is episode six of Project Pokedex, and I am back for another episode. So right now I'm grabbing Sapphire, 39 of them actually, and I made myself a full Team Aqua armor set here, and I look pretty drippy. Just look at me in a second. Oh man, this is going to be good. This looks real good. Next, I fly off on my pink Pidgeot because I want to find a new place to live. I'm getting kind of tired of where I'm at boring spawns and so one of the things i found was like this legends arceus village i didn't really do too much but i'll definitely come back and i also found some good old buried treasure this one with a pixelmon ruby or four and pretty good next i found a horde of lapras i don't know why i recorded it i just thought it was pretty cool and then i found this random uh chalice underwater somebody's gonna have to tell me what that does or maybe google but yeah pretty cool Next, there was a raid den. I haven't done a raid yet, so I thought this would be perfect. I had an Electabuzz on me, and so this whale mart went down quickly. And I'm starting to realize whale, not whale mart, but raid dens are so OP. I got a uh, rare candy for doing too much damage. After the raid, I found also this little temple thing. I don't know what it does. Maybe Celebi. I'm not really sure. And I found this, like weird library that was inside of a cliffside and then also there was this other room that had a bunch of chests i wasn't complaining i just honestly don't understand where some of the stuff some of the stuff spawns from but otherwise it was good let's open a bunch of chests here here's the library part even had an enchantment table which is pretty sweet so after that bit of exploring i found something pretty rare for vanilla minecraft which is a woodland mansion so rare that I uh, decided to make this my new base. So look at me go. I put down a bunch of chests and I'm like, this is my new spot. I was also next to like a rainforest and a volcanic plains and a few other things. So I was like, I don't know, this is different enough. And if I don't want to live here, it's okay. I also found a pink diglet. That was kind of random. I made sure to catch them because it's a pink diglet. I mean, come on. So after Pinkie Pie there, I went over to another room in my woodland mansion. Uh, and made a nether portal. The importance of this nether portal is that I have all of my stuff thousands of blocks away. So you know what I spent the next few hours doing? Flying back and forth on my Pidgeot and breaking down these chests that I had in my old place and bringing all my stuff over one inventory full at a time. No backpacks, no shulker boxes, no nothing. And after like way too long, I was able to just basically throw everything from one base to the other. It took forever i'm not kidding and then after that i made a bunch of different healers i just had diamonds to throw away and so here we go i put a light gray healer in front of my base and then here's me doing some more exploring i had quite a bit of stuff to sell so i went out to a village to sell it but before i did that i just kind of looted up everywhere i could find there was just stuff everywhere loot and villages spawning and some of them are important because I need legendaries to spawn there, but for now I'm like putting them in a notes app and just like forgetting about them. With all that looting, I was able to just get all sorts of new items that I'll definitely sell to these shopkeepers so I can buy more great balls. And speaking of great balls, here I just bought 36 of them, pretty much for free. And with all those great balls, of course, I had to put them to work. Here, I'm catching a Nidoran, and then all the other stuff that this Savannah biome had for me, like Blitzels, and even a Q-Fant here in a second. So, this episode's pretty much all about going on a catching spree. I just wanted to catch all sorts of stuff, brand new stuff that was in random biomes that I wasn't getting. Biomes of Plenty is such a cool mod, but there's also so many biomes, and so it's my goal to just get as many checked off the list early on as possible, and then later in this series, we can definitely hone in on some of the places that we've missed. But so far, so so good. I can count a Swadloon here right out in front of my base, as well as a Sawsbuck. Pretty cool. I was amazed at some Pokemon that just do not want to be caught. Like, there was a Krikatot. I don't know if it's glitched or what. But it was level 10, and I ended up wasting 40 Pokeballs on it. And I eventually just gave up. Couldn't catch it. Sounds like it was glitched, honestly, now that I'm talking about it out loud. Back in the Volcanic Plains that's by my base, there's a Sharkadet, Rock and Rolla, Magmar, 
coughing and then an execute in the rainforest there were so many new pokemon here it is hard to keep them all in this video without going too long but yeah i was catching pretty much everything there's also a beach biome nearby that had a cromorant and i ran out of pokeballs but good thing i made a bunch more at my base and then went back out again this time in the ocean and i caught finizen and also beat a boss whelmer Here, after catching Horsey, I headed to my last catching spree of this episode, which was kind of a combination of like a lavender field and what's called a pasture biome and maybe a little bit of gravelly, rocky surfaces. And it was awesome. I caught all sorts of new Pokemon, especially with the lavender fields. There was all sorts of flower Pokemon. Finally, I made four PCs to add to my base. I put two just for the aesthetic on the sides and I'll have one carried on me at all times now with my Silk Touch pick. Here is the final result of today's catching spree. Uh, I basically have many, many boxes full of Pokemon now and I'm gonna have to sort them all here soon or else I'll go crazy. But yeah, seven boxes of Pokemon. Here's my team, not a whole lot of leveling up going on this episode, but thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. And this is my Pokedex, 175 out of 991. Looking good, I'll see you in the next episode.